Hey guys, I'm here today. I'm really excited. I know I've said that before, but this is a little bit different and this is something that's really fun and I'm, I'm thrilled to try this new uh, way to review a wig. So you might have noticed in the title that this is Two Girls in a Wig, episode one. So I am bringing you Ensley by Renee of Paris um, They're in their new orchid line today. And I am going to review this wig for you right now. And then I'm going to pack her up and send her off to my friend Christy from Wigan with Christy and she's going to review this wig. So you guys are going to have the opportunity to see Ensley this beautiful, beautiful hair on two women in two different lighting situations and you can get both of our impressions. I just am so excited to see how helpful this might be. Uh, you know, if you're like me, you really want to watch a lot of reviews before you spend your hard-earned money on a wig. It's really risky to buy wigs and it's expensive. And so you're trying to do the best research that you can do. And so one way is, you know, to watch a lot of reviews. And so Christy and I could do this wig. Like she could have gotten one. I could have gotten one. Um, it's always a risk, though, that they're that we're getting the same information. You know what I mean? Color can change. Styles can look different. So I wonder how helpful it would be to have us both review the exact same wig, like this one, not Ensley, two versions of Ensley. And so anyway, so let us know, please let us know what you think of this. Was this helpful? Um, if you haven't seen Christy yet, I will link her review of this wig in the description box. Please check her out. Check out her other wigs that she reviews and just check out her channel. Um, it's just another resource for you guys. Uh, so I just think it's really fun. So let me get to the wig. I just wanted to tell you kind of what we're doing. And if this went well and um, you guys appreciated and enjoyed it, we might do a few more like this. It is a lot more work though. I have to review it. I have to send it to her. She has to review it. Then we have to kind of discuss an upload schedule because we want to put it up at the same time. So it isn't a quick, quick kind of situation. So Ensley. Here she is, chocolate pretzel. Oh my gosh, you guys, chocolate pretzel. I've never seen this color before and it is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Look at all the dynamic colors in here. You've got like a medium dark brown, there's caramel, there may be a little bit of an auburn, like a 30. There's multiple, multiple colors in this wig. It doesn't pull extremely red. So if there is auburn in here, and I think there is, I'm trying to pull the fibers so the light plays on it. Um, you know, there might be a little red. And you know, that's a little bit of a subjective thing too. What looks more red to you may not look as red to me. And I do like reds, but I did already film an outside look of this one. And so I'll make sure to tack that on the end. So, Ensley, oh Lord. Okay, so let me quick tell you some specs. And I apologize, you guys, I'm not feeling well. I have a cold, I have a sore throat. So I'm gonna try not to uh, mess up too much, but um, I really needed to get this done and get this off to Christy. So please forgive me if I sound a little nasally and I pause a few times to kind of swallow and catch my breath. Okay, so normally I don't give you guys specs on wigs because I figure you can look them up yourself. In this case though, I felt the need to do it because Ensley's so new, there isn't a lot of information out there on her. And I actually had to go to three different websites to even find specs. And Wensley, Wensley, Ensley is not even sold on every website right now. There were some that I go to all the time that didn't even have her. So I'm gonna tell you the specs, I got my laptop here. So you're looking at a fringe of six inches. So that's this right here. I am eight inches from here from hairline to chin. And this fringe they're saying is about six inches. I think there's some layers in the fringe, so it will vary. One thing I think is really great about the way Ensley is styled is the uh, it's straighter up on top and then it blooms into curls. And where that is going to be really helpful is if you are a bang wearer, because then you can easily cut bangs into her and not have to worry about messing with um, or dealing with a curl pattern that could make it uh, lay crazy. So for, you know, I'm not a bang wearer. I don't cut bangs and wings, wigs, but I can imagine that that curl really uh, makes that difficult to navigate. So in this one, you're not going to deal with that. Uh, and then you've got a crown of 13 inches. So from the top down, and then you've got a nape from the back of the hairline all the way down of 14 inches. I'm on my very, very tippy toes. 
goes down to the top of my girls. This is when she's pulled forward. This is a long, long, layered, heavily layered style. Really, really, really layered, really, really long. She's so pretty. When I got her, I pulled her out of the box and I just went, oh my gosh, I think this is the most beautiful hair I've ever seen. And I stand by that. I do. Of all the wigs I've tried, this one is so incredibly beautiful. But that said, she is a ton of hair. I cannot express enough how much hair Ensley has. She is incredibly incredibly full and dense i'm hoping just by like lifting her up and showing you can get a sense of that when i got her i thought man if she's not over six ounces i would be shocked well she's not um on this website it says she's 5.64 ounces i am a little surprised i really expected her to be over six ounces so um, I haven't weighed her. She might be. I know the, the specs aren't always right on, but um, that's what it says. The other thing that I was really surprised about on this one is the price point. Her price point is really excellent. Um, she retails for about $220 or so, but if you get, so oftentimes websites will give you a discount on the retail, and then they'll have a coupon so you can purchase the wig at an, at an even more discount. So on one website, I found her today. You can buy her right now. Now, obviously, I don't know when this video is getting posted because it depends on how long it takes Christy and then, you know, because she still has to get this wig. But as of right now, I could buy her for about $140 with a discount. So that shocks the heck out of me. For hair like this, so full, so beautiful. I really thought this was going to retail for over $300. I really did. And she doesn't. So, I don't know guys, if you like long wigs, you can deal with a, a full head of hair. I think you should snap Ensley up, I do. Let's talk a little bit more though, because I haven't shown you everything. <laughs> so, here's her lace front. So she has, I've been playing with her, and since I don't have her adhered, she's been pulled back. She has a lace front, she has a mono uh, part, which I'll show you. The lace front is good. It's, it's, it's kind of dense. You know, it starts pretty thick where it starts, but the knotting isn't too terrible. You know, she's a dark color, so knotting can be a challenge in these dark colors, you know. But this one is doing pretty well. So if you, like me, like to pull bangs up off the face, which I, I do like to do that, um, I think you can do this. Get it focused in with pretty good confidence. You can see those knots right now. This does not bother me, this look. It may bother you. So just be aware, know the differences. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I share quite often that I have a bit of a tolerance for not showing. Not a full tolerance because I have like my Belle Trust Lady Latte in the color Mocha with Cream. Those knots are kind of thick. I don't think I really wanna pull that one off. But if it's a little bit, I just have learned through my journey here People don't notice stuff. They really don't notice things that much. And it's really odd for someone to really see this. For the most part, how many people are you talking to up close like this so they can see? And most people are looking at your eyes or they're looking at your face. They're looking at something other than your hairline. So take that for what you will. But if you're a sister who worries about this stuff, I encourage you to observe other people's hair and it will reduce your anxiety over this. It really will. But anyway, so you can wear her up. That is not a problem. Um, some things I, I um, struggle with on this one, she doesn't have a lot of permatease at all. She has a little bit of permatease here that I can feel. She has no permatease up top at all. So because of that, I gotta swipe away. Oh, it went away. I had a notification. Um, because of that, she does lay really flat and then you know she's got all this volume and all these curls. So for me to wear her comfortably, I'm thinking I probably need to take a lift, just a tiny bit of steam potentially to give the bangs a little bit of lift just because I feel like my face is 
too fat for a wig to be full here and have no body here. Another thing that I did with her, which I can do really easily, is I can tuck. And I've done that with her. I haven't worn her, but I have put her on a number of times. I did wear her around the house for about an hour one night. Um, I can tuck her and I think that makes a bit of a difference because then I can get a little bit of volume here and not have to deal with it being so flat. So she is definitely tuckable. Let's look at the coverage. Let me make sure she's, with all the messing when she's not adhered, I gotta make sure she's where she's supposed to be. So we've got, the ear tab ends right there. This is all my bio hair. So the coverage is decent. You can see my bio hair. It's the way it normally is anyway. So because my bio hair is a little bit of an ashier color right now and it's got a lot of gray, I would just take some great day hair powder and I would disguise that a little bit. So that wouldn't be a problem for me. Uh, so I think that's great. Um, I also notice the more I play with her, she tends to get a little flyaways. Can you see all that? That is tamed perfectly with just a little bit of water on your fingers and smooth. You don't even need product to do that. So if, if you're out and about and you've been kind of, cause she's hard not to play with, let me tell you, if you start to see that, just take a little bit of water on your fingers and just gently smooth down. It really works wonders. You don't even need product. Uh, let's take a look at this cap. So there's the lace front. Let me turn her inside out because I got to show you this model part. It's a left side model part like is typical, but it is such a wide part. Look at how wide that part is. I don't know if you can even tell. Hold on for a second. Let me grab another wig here and see if I can do a side by side for you. Because this model part, here's Ensley. Here's Orchid by Aesthetica, which I need to do a review on. I'm gonna to try to get that one filmed today too. Look at the difference in width. This is at least one and a half times as this one. And look at how deep this lace front is right here compared to Orchid. It's just crazy. It is the widest mono part I have ever seen. What that means is you've got a lot more flexibility as to where you part it on the side. You're still limited to a side part, but I ended up actually parting her more deeply on the side. I felt the bangs laid better on me and having a wide part like that gave me the freedom to do that. It was awesome. Um, we've got an extended nape with the Velcro adjusters. There's the ear tabs, adjustable felt, really nice. And then, you know, this right here is the permatease kind of right, well, I'm going to put it back on. This is supposed to be the permatease right next to the part, but the whole top feels really flat. Where I feel permatease is on the sides, and that permatease is not the pillowy permatease, it's the crimpy permatease. So let me show you. Can you see right there? It's like kind of crimpy. So it's sort of like when you back comb your hair or like us 80s girls like to call it rat your hair um, to give it just a little bit of lift, maybe disguise those wefts a little bit, but it's not by any means thick pillowy permatease. Um, and because of the hair density in the back, if the wind blows, there's too much hair for you to even worry about wefts showing. Uh, the wefts are not going to show on this one uh, at all. There's just too much hair here for that to happen. It doesn't even really need permatease because <laughs> it has a lot of hair. So the the cap fits me uh, pretty typical. It's it's I did cinch it just a little bit, barely. Um, as far as having extra room in the cap, I have a tiny tiny bit. But this cap is is a pretty good fit for me. So if you're an average large it might be that this is a little tight on you. It'll be interesting to see what Christy thinks of the fit of this cap. So I'm really curious. Uh, I can't remember. I think her head might be a little bigger than mine. So she might be more average large, whereas I'm average, um, I'm average circumference at 22 inches, but all the rest of my measurements over the top are child size. So I'm very small, except for in my circumference.
So, so I did do a little bit of a deeper. I could even part this one even a little bit more deeply because that monofilament, the mono part is so wide. Like my parting space is like that wide. And there's the mono. You can see it, which I like. I like to be able to see a little bit of that monofilament because it gives the illusion a part. And um, I would probably put a little foundation there or maybe a little like medical gray, medical um, flesh colored like silicone tape there because that is going to bring out that part a little bit more and make it just look just a little bit more realistic, which is great. All right, you guys, I did do an outside look of this color, so I'm going to tack that on the end here. If I, if, depending on what, I, I did take a quick little video when I first got it, but I can't remember what that was like, so I may take that and tack it on here at the end. But this is kind of out of the box. I didn't do much to it. I took a wide tooth comb through it a little bit, and I hung it on a wig head to just sit for a few days. Other than that, I've not sprayed her with water. I've not scrunched her. I've not hung her upside down. I've really done nothing. And these curls, they're like a spiral. They're like a soft, can you see that? That's a good example right there. A soft spiral curl. So she's very full, kind of flat, goes into a wave, and then goes into a spiral. Just beautiful. This is gonna be perfect hair for date night, for updos, for weddings, I mean, at, at the price point she's at, I think a lot of women could afford to have her for fancy hair and not wear her every day. I do think she'll get, she'll get tangly in things because of her length. The fibers are really nice. They're, you know, they're not super silky, but they're not super dry. They're sort of in between. They just feel really good. Really, really good. And the thickness of this hair is something not to take lightly. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. If you haven't already checked this out on Christy's page, please go over and see her review. If you're here because you went to her page first and saw her review, thank you so much for being here. And um, I hope you stick around. I definitely uh, have a lot of different reviews. I like tend to like curly wigs. I tend to like shorter, more bob styles. I also like to do chats and talk about wig wearing and challenges and just life. So anyway, thanks, guys, and stick around for that outside look. Hey, okay guys, here I am outside. So you can get a look at this color. Look at all the different tones running through this and all the different shades. So, so pretty. Look at all the leaves on the ground. Fall is here. I'm trying to see if I can give you guys some good luck. The sun is on the other side of the house because it's morning. There we go. So pretty. Chocolate pretzel. Oh. Beautiful. Make sure you get a really good look. All right, thanks for watching. Hey everyone, oh my gosh. I am so excited to share this with you guys. This is Ensley by Renee of Paris in their new orchid line in the color Chocolate Pretzel. I won this wig from a contest that Renee of Paris put on and I couldn't even believe it when I saw that I had won and they let me pick which one of their new orchid line wigs I wanted and I picked this one and oh my lord look at this wig it is an unbelievable head of hair let me get my mirror I don't even know if you can see all of it It's crazy. It is so thick and full. Look at all that hair. Oh my Lord, I am just floored.
Okay, so this is completely out of the box. I've done nothing to her, nothing. Um, well, I did hang her up because I took her out of the box yesterday and I hung her up on a wig stand, but that's all I did. She is beautiful. She is full. She is curly. This color chocolate pretzel. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you how pretty this color is. Unbelievable, all of the highlights and it's just warm and oh, and it's got bangs. She's got bangs. I just, I'm in pretty much in awe of this right now. So that's, she's got a mono, a huge mono part. Look at how thick that mono part is. And then a lace front. I just have to show you guys, look at these curls. She's so beautiful. So this is just a sneak peek because I just couldn't help myself. I had to, had to show you guys before I have a chance to play with her and see how I will wear her. Cause like right now the bang isn't kind of doing what I, what I prefer. And I'm just not sure yet what to do with this. So I'm gonna need to mess with her. I need to figure out the parting and all of those things. But Ensley by Renee Paris. If you are a long haired girl, if you like tons of hair, you like full hair, you want something that you are gonna be able to do updos with. I mean, oh my gosh. The possibilities with this one are just, I can't even imagine them all right now. But I'm making a mess of her with all my playing. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just really wanted to show this to you and then I'll come back, I'll do a full review and I'll let you know what I think of her. But this is Ensley by Renee of Paris and their new orchid line in the color chocolate pretzel. Oh man, I can't wait to share more.